In this lesson, we're going to talk about converting angle measure between degrees and radians, or vice versa. And if you haven't heard of radians before, it's just a different way to measure an angle. Rather than breaking a circle into 360 small pieces called degrees, it looks at a circle and says, okay, a circle has a radius of 1, let's say, then the circumference is given by 2 pi r, and so this circle would have a circumference of 2 pi. So instead of calling it 360 degrees all the way around, we call it 2 pi all the way around, and then divide it into pieces that way. So 2 pi would be the same as 360 degrees. So this is now radians we're talking about, no longer c. So 2 pi radians, which we can use an r or rad, would be equal to 360 degrees. and if we divide each side by 2, we get this relationship that we use to convert, which is pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. And that's just an idea of how they divide the circle. So if we want to do the conversion, and it is important to know both radian and degrees, if we have 1.36 radians, we're going to convert just like we converted meters, kilometers, hours, seconds. We want radians on the bottom so that they cancel, we want degrees on the top. Well, the only conversion we need to know is that 180 degrees is pi radians. Radians cancel. We end up with 180 times 1.36 divided by pi, which is 77.9 degrees. So that's what we need to do there. In the next example, we have 44 degrees, and we need to change it to radians. And I'm actually going to do this one on the calculator for you. But if we have 47 degrees, we want to multiply that. We want to cancel degrees. We want to finish with radians. We have 180 degrees, pi radians. And we're going to get some answer there. Well, on your calculator, to do it, we want to first check the mode. And notice that our calculator has two modes, radian mode and degree mode. We want to get our answer here in radians, so we want to put our calculator in radian mode because we want it to tell us the radians. So we go to the main screen here. Then we have 47, but these are degrees, and our calculator is now in radian mode. So we're going to hit second function and APPS, which is apps, but if you see right above it, you have angle. And in angle, we have this little circle, which is degrees, and 3 is r for radians. So we're going to tell the calculator we have 47 degrees. And we're just going to hit enter. And that tells us that there's 0 0.8203, etc., radians in 47 degrees. If we check our answer just with the conversion we have there, 47 times pi, which is above the exponent button here, and divide that by 180 we see that the result is exactly the same. So 0 0.8203. So it's good to know how to do it on the calculator. It's good to know how to do it using the conversion. Either way, make sure you are able to convert between degrees and radians. We'll do one more. And then we have that note at the bottom here that says, when performing angle calculations with your calculator, make sure your calculator is in the correct mode. If you are inputting radians, you need radians. If you're inputting degrees, you need degrees. If you're doing the conversion and you want your answer in degrees, we need degrees for the mode. So we look at our calculator again. We have 2.56. These are radians this time. So we go second function, angle. We tell it number three, the radians. We want change that to degrees, so we check our mode. Well, our mode has to be in degree mode then. So we change that, go back here, hit enter. 146.68. 146.68 degrees. And if we do it using the conversion, we would have to multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. Radians cancel, we're left with degrees, and sure enough, if you multiply, this is what you get. We'll stop that lesson there. In the next lesson, we'll get into the idea of trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tan, and a little talk about 
some reference angles. Make sure you are following along and you understand what we're doing up to this point. If not, now's the time to get help. Don't wait till it's too late. And we'll see you in the next lesson.